Hey guys, um, toddler was poorly over the weekend. Like we had to take him to A and E, get him loads of drugs. He's fine now. He's fine. But at the moment, we spent a long time over the weekend just sitting on the sofa watching TV, which with a two-year-old means we spent a lot of time watching Penn and Holly, and I'm angry. I'm really, really angry. So, oh, just I'm just gonna rant. Okay, I'm just going to rant about why Ben and Holly makes me angry. Now, if you've never seen Ben and Holly, because you're a teenager, um, it's, it's, um, Ben's an elf and Holly's a princess. And in this particular episode, that made me literally fuming over the weekend. Holly, Princess Holly, went to princess school. Um, and the first rule of princess school is to always look nice. Nice hair, nice face, nice clothes, to look pretty. So Ben and Holly, the TV show, is telling girls and boys that a girl's main job is to look pretty. That I, you, everyone else, that girls, that only purpose on this earth is to look pretty. I'm not happy. No, I'm not happy at all. Um, and I'm not happy for loads and loads of reasons. Let's start like an age. So let's start with my toddler, two-year-old. He has now received the message that a girl, a girl's only purpose, that he is like, nanny, he is mummy, all the people he sees at school, that their only purpose is to look pretty. Because princess school didn't talk about any other things. They didn't talk about being kind or smart. It didn't talk about being a nice person. No, just being pretty. That was it. So he now thinks, he has received this message from a television show that he loves. That girls are meant to just be pretty. And not be anything else at all. Which, I'm sorry, is bollocks. Absolute bollocks. Now, if you think about it from a girl's perspective... A two-year-old girl is being told that her only aim in life is to be pretty. And kids pick up so much. Like, little kids, they just pick up so, so much. Like, a uh, two-year-old started saying, um, like, I'd tell him to do something, he'd go, Righto! And I'd like, where on earth are you getting it from? Oh, he's got it from Ben and Holly. Yeah, he's picked it up from Ben and Holly. So he does pick all this stuff up. And it's not like... I don't want to say it's subliminal messaging, because it's not even, like, slightly subliminal. It's, like, blatantly out there. They are telling two-year-olds that a girl's job is to be pretty. That's it. Nothing else at all. And if we're giving this message to two-year-olds in such a blatant, blatant way, well, it's going to sink in, and it's going to stick. And then when they get a little bit older, you know... Maybe if you're kind of like, you know, eight-year-old watching Ben and Holly with your your little sister or your little brother, and then you see the same episode, you're kind of like, oh, a girl explains to be pretty. And even when you get to teenage, even when you get to your age, that, I mean, hopefully you would watch that and then get as, as enraged as I did, but that message has been in there for a really long time. And even today, when, like, okay, so magazines don't explicitly tell you that your main job is to be pretty, but it's all over the front covers, it's all over the inside pages, the advertising, they don't have adverts full of really kind people, they don't have adverts full of people that work really hard, or doing loads and loads of good jobs for charity, or are being really, really nice people, do they? No, they have adverts full of pretty people. I, I can feel myself getting like, ah! really really angry and I think you should be getting really really angry as well and it's just like we are ingraining it into like generations after us that a girl's only job is to be pretty and that's bollocks I do not care what you look like nobody cares what you look like because it, it, it's fine to look nice and that's great but it's much, much better to be a nice person on the inside. To be a kind person, to be a good friend. I'm sure you all know someone at school who's really, really pretty, but let's be honest, he's a little bit of a bitch, yeah? 
we don't want to be friends with her. Okay, maybe she looks really popular on the outside, but in an emergency, this is not the person you call and ask for help. You need kind friends, good friends, people that are gonna go out and do good for society, people that are, you know, gonna go and change the world and make it brilliant, and absolutely none of this is related to how you look. So, what's the point of this video? I don't know what the point of this video is, I'm just angry, and I'm just ranting. But I have remembered an excellent, excellent quote from Grey's Anatomy. Love Grey's Anatomy. Christina saying, I can't remember exactly how it goes, I just remember like the, the, the spirit of it. It's just like, don't call me beautiful. If you want to compliment me, compliment my intelligence, compliment my mind. Because beauty is fleeting, it is fake. Seriously, nobody looks amazing when they wake up in the morning, but you can be brilliant when you wake up in the morning. You can be kind when you wake up in the morning. You can be a good person when you wake up in the morning. You cannot change the fact that you are a nice, decent, honest, lovely person by troweling on a load of makeup and changing your clothes. But you can change how you look. And how you look is not important. Right, I'm going to stop there because I'm feeling myself just waffling and getting really, really angry. But Ben and Holly... Boo.